Yeah, huh? please take me to paradise today. Uh, All right, you didn't make the top three. Are you making fun really of me right now? Today, though. For your information, Inferno is paradise for me today. Guys, welcome back to my channel. We're going to continue talking about Sing Inferno. Today, we're going to talk about Sing Inferno season three, episode nine. We are getting closer to the end. Yes, after this, there's only two episodes left. Can you believe it? This. The time go by very quick. I really hope I can speed up editing video so that I can get video on time to you. At least, yeah, I know that by the time I post it, we will already know the final episode. But my goal is to not be too late posting the video. So I'm gonna have to add some extra time, lose a little bit of sleep, so that I can get you the video not too late about after the final. I really hope I can do that. If I can, like, just post video every two days or every three days, I will do my best. So that by the time you watch it, it will be like three or four weeks after the final episode. That's just my hope. So thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you for all the views that I'm getting. Editing video, like, sometimes when you put a lot of time, I don't expect, like, a bigger result. When I do those videos, I just want people to at least watch. That's so that I feel like, oh, my effort wasn't wasted. And I really feel like this happened with editing Single Inferno. You guys make me think that my time is not wasted. I'm, I'm not just sitting for a few hours editing video, wasting my time. Because people actually watch my video. And when I got, I'll be getting like 400 views, 500 views. I'm very happy. Um, thank you so much for watching. This is a Single Inferno to all the shows that I'm covering. This has been the best result so far. Thank you so much. Okay, let's not get too emotional and let's get back to what we usually do. Let's get back to our cover. So we're gonna continue talking about Sing Inferno. And today we're gonna talk about Sing Inferno, season three, episode nine. So remember the last time when I talked about Sing Inferno, it was the woman game. For the ticket to paradise and we have three ladies left and the three ladies happen to be <laughs> guani girls so we have Rachel, her son and a new girl she's not that new anymore minji so all three girls are interested in guani and it's literally the final for the three who's gonna it doesn't matter they all know that they will go to paradise right but the question is that Who's gonna take Guani to paradise? So they are all fighting for the first place, not the second place, not the third place, the first place. This is how it goes. Remember the last time where her, her son was really like looking firmly, like I'm ready to win. She had that look, and Guani and Mingi was just looking at her heart. She was determined to win this game. And then the game continued. Then we are getting into this episode. We saw her son ready to fight for Guani. Yeah, her son ready to fight. And we saw the fight. The thing is that Hedja and Minji went first. And remember, we were talking about that. And her son took the opportunity. She was going closer to them. And the episode ended. This is what happened. Uh, what happened? Minji and Rachel had the ticket fight. So Minji was the first to be eliminated. So she's occupied the third place. She wasn't very happy about that. She was crying a little bit. And I love that she and is there to take care of her to console her. I'm alright. I'm fine. Don't cry. Good. Come on. I'm fine. Cause she and go on me so much. I love Shield. You saw me. I wasn't like holding for people at the beginning. I was trying my best just to stay away, like just be a commentator, just talk about the show, having like a type of journalist type of view, type of news. It's like I'm reporting the news about the show. I'm recapping the show. But this past few days, I have been reviewing the show. I keep talking. Oh, I'm holding for you, Shield. You found your love. Rachel, no, she was completely high. Why you were not listening? I became like that. I saw myself. I just love she so much. And she's there to take care of me. She says, it's okay. And she calls her, you still have to go to paradise. But she doesn't know that Minji she know that she lost in first place. <laughs> Uh, all she cared about is Gwani. I realized I might not get to go to paradise with the one I wanted to go with. And then we continue. The second place, who has the second place? We have Red John and Red John. I really wanted Red John to win. You know. Oh, oh, oh. 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 
Hajong. That's you and Hajong is a I'll be like rooting for people differently. I'm like Hesong has was my girl at the beginning. I still like Hesong like as an individual, but watching the season, I'll be behind Hajong. I want the best for Hajong and so I suffer and like wanting like things to work out with one I I just I just didn't like to see Rachel suffering because the girl has been honest the whole time. I just love Rachel. So I was hooding. It wasn't just me hooding for Rachel. Super Junior guy, I keep forgetting his name. He was also hooding for Rachel. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Monsieur Hajong is eliminated. You did great. Is he Kenyon? Kenyon? So he was also hooding for Rachel. I really wanted Rachel to win this. But Hazel win. And I'm happy for Hazel. I'm happy that Hazel win. You we saw her determination. I was happy that she she win this and tell me the result is Hazel first, Hazel second and Minji third place. After the game, the master make the announcement you're gonna have the, do the choice to go to Badass like in in an hour, like to give them time like to they compress to talk and stuff like that before making the choice. You know, we're gonna have a lot of conversation between people who decide to go to paradise or not. So now we have the guy chat. So it happened in the, one of the guy who I don't know who Mingyu and Jinsu talk about the way her son was looking at Wani. Now Wani has the chance to tell the guys I know. The day that I had with Hesong was very relaxed, so we talked a lot, but there's nothing. We are not, uh, we are not seen that way. We are not romantic, so stuff like that. Once you got back, things were really relaxed between us. Things were chill to the point it was more chill than excitement. And I'm sure Hesong also picked up on that. Now, when he said, when he was talking to one, he said, it's going to be either Hesong or Minji who would pick him to go to Pada. I'm like, my girl Rachel is not even angry. I said, what's going on? They have such a connection at the beginning, such a game I was holding for them. Ah, the more the shows getting to it, the more disappointed I am. Especially this episode really threw me out. I'm like, oh my God, what's going on with my head? my girl Rachel? What's going on with, with things with her and Guani? Now Guani says, her son or Minji. So Minji already, from Minji, we're going to talk about Minji this episode. I'm a little bit confused about the things. So let's continue with the girl, girl chat. The girl also have their own chat in the room. And this is what I like. She even see that if somebody take Mino, she's just going to cry out. Seriously, if someone takes Minu today, I feel like I'm just going to break down in tears. Like, oh my god somebody think oh my god she in and she's there and this is where me know great time it tells two people have been missing the time a lot a lot like things were not going their way they tried so hard to me but it was also there were always something that come against them they even talk about that this episode i love that me come to the home and to pick she in. let's go have a chat Yes. Got a second? Can we talk? Sure. Got a second? Can we talk? I was so happy. It was such a fun guy watching this episode. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this is what we do. we also show one in conversation. Is we say that people think he has been detained, she is, so that she doesn't have to try. Con she doesn't have to have a conversation with somebody. Or it wasn't the case. It was just kind of funny. You say. That wasn't his intention. He gave, he know how I feel like that's why people think that way. I get me know or other people say that about him. So they go, he have long conversation with she and she had to have the opportunity to talk to somebody else. I heard you told everyone I had Chiyun detained like I was an intelligence agent. Me? No, I didn't say that. Who did? That was hilarious. I think someone in our room did say that. Now, now let's talk about she and me no conversation. I can just talk about them all day long. I already felt bad for you gonna watch this episode because I'm going into detail talking about this. Can I see couple already? I don't know. I would just laugh at myself if this thing doesn't work out like two episodes later and it doesn't work out. I would be just laugh at myself. How fun girl I was. 
because I love them. So me as as how was yesterday, as she how was yesterday, she was, it was so so. <laughs> And she's just blushing around him. Like you can see the way they talk this episode. Oh my god, this was so cute to see that. Me no see going to paradise is not going to paradise, it's not important. So it depends on the person you spend time with. And they're both talking about the fact that on day four, they're talking about the fact that on day four means you pick uh, me not to buy that. They fight, kill it, me not to buy that. They say, want it, pay shield to buy that. Dude, it's you, shield. I was really sad about how we kept getting torn apart. Yeah, talking about the fact that it's like, I don't know if it's the event. Things just try to separate them, put them to different side. They try to meet each other. They are always getting separated. They are talking about the fact that, and this is where they both literally lay the feeling on the ground. No more hiding. Just telling you how Femino say. I couldn't stop thinking about you. I just miss you yesterday. She would say, I miss you too. I couldn't stop thinking about you. <laughs> you kept popping up in my head. I just really missed you yesterday. That's me being honest. Really? I missed you as well. Oh, uh, <laughs> and and Milo said, I just want to keep you in my side all the time like this. I want to keep you to myself like this. What's wrong? What's gotten into you? Uh, what really do you mean? I'll just keep you here. I'm like, oh my god. She was so surprised to see <laughs> what's getting into you. Mino, even though Mino was like calm, he didn't talk so much. She was so surprised at how Mino was talking so much. I was like, wow, even the panel was surprised. Mino lay everything on the ground. I just wanted to keep you on my side. <laughs> I just wanted to keep you. Uh, to myself like this, like, oh my god, she didn't say, I, I just want to let my feeling, uh, it doesn't matter if I get embarrassed, I'll just tell you how I feel, and it's all or nothing for me now, now I'm just blurting out my feelings as they come, whether they embarrass me or not, Fenova is really pretty, <laughs> so they both like the fact that Fenova feel like paradise, but now that you you can see how they feel about you, show them. No, sure is pretty. Why is it looking so pretty today? Don't you think it's pretty? It, is, it really is. Me no see, there was one more person he was planning to talk to, but after talking to Shirin, he's not going to talk to anyone else. He said, I'm just going to fall in more and more for you. You're so charismatic all of a sudden. Why do you say that? Really? I just keep falling for you more and more. That's all. Like, oh my God. <laughs> When I see things like that, I get a little bit scared because there are two more episodes. They, they might change and I'm already scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I love them so much. I just want them together. I just want them to be together. And they talk about the father and Fennel feel like the partners. And she has been saying that she has had she had a great time in Inferno. Remember when people were complaining about the potatoes and the can of fish? She was to say, it just feel like paradise, so no complaint. People in Inferno 2 was very positive about their experience compared to Inferno 1. And uh, Jesus said, I never have a car before. Why did you say the same thing? <laughs> so, uh, Inferno had feel like paradise. And now the father Mino is here. Who cares about we need to go to paradise? How do you think we would have fared for 10 days if we just stayed here? Do you think this might have been our very own paradise? I do think so. So far, like the conversation that Mino had with Shiyun just made me think, no, there's no point to talk to Kyori anymore. This is pretty much my decision right now. There was one more person I wanted to talk to. I'm not going to. I'm completely done now. I'm done thinking it over. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't change. There's still two episodes left. Anything can happen. And even what he see after he see that, he spent time with Curie. She did express her, her feeling directly to him. He spent time with Shirin. She was she laid down her feeling, like he know which direction is going. I hope it's not just about expressing the feeling. I hope it's more than that. I hope that he like he really like Shirin more than Curie because if was if Curie come and say no, I really like you. There's nobody else, and I would be scared. That means change his mind because guys that we notice in this in this. 
sing fan or they are especially granny like the decision seems to depend on how the other person feel what about what you're feeling i don't know so i'm really scared but i'm very happy for them so far <laughs> let me be happy and be scared later Min, minji and granny have a conversation minji asked about granny do that look pretty i told you the last time i was talking about minji and granny paradise and they have a great part of it. I feel like they were talking about stuff outside of this singer fan or thing that they were gonna do. I'm like, oh my god, they have a great connection, but I'm not sure. I don't know. So she asked Granny, like, do that look pretty? You say, oh, you look pretty. She said she's not wearing her hat. I she said because there's nothing to fight for. Like, remember the last time she, he said, you have to hide me like a little note and stuff like that. Use eight words, I don't even remember. And the note that she holds say, I have no second choice. That's what I'm thinking right now. I had no second choice. Minji looks like she's made up her mind too. I was surprised. I think Jason have a connection with Minji, but she's all in. With Granny now, I'm like, wow, what an empire. Jesus, you should have just shut your mouth and not say anything good about Granny B. Oh, he's not a good. I know, you know, I like Jason, but he should have not talk about Granny during his daily part. I say Granny is like a very great guy, very playful. He's fun to be a half. Oh, he's funny, is he? Granny's funny, yeah. Oh. So he's got a way with how going and winning. So he's fun to be around, huh? <laughs> Look what you did. <laughs> Look what you did. There's an expression in French, a familiar expression. Regarde le travail de ton travail. It's like, look at the work. <laughs> look at the work of your work. Like, look what you've done <laughs> when you were working. I don't even know how to express that in English. So you should have just let it there. Now you throw, throw me into, into Guani, into Guani side. When you already have 30% of three people now, it's like 25 percentage. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I guess in this episode, we're going to see some percentage dropping for other people. It's not always the, the person that I really wanted. I'm sad, guys. I'm sad. So she just wants Granny to compliment her for her outfit and stuff like that. She says she's not going to wear uh, something, her necklace or whatever. Did she see she doesn't have any second choice? I was surprised. That's it. So I hold my nose so there's no nothing with jeans anymore. So that door is closed. Oh my God. Also, she doesn't like the fact that Guan is wearing green today because Miss Hassan is also wearing green. So she doesn't like that. But I wish you wouldn't wear green. This? How come? Oh, I don't look good in green. Is it? Someone else is wearing green. Who is it though? Hassan. Hassan's wearing green. Guan is so confusing. I'm. I ask you this question, guys. If you have like, if you're interested in two people, right, and the best one of the person that you like have to go on a date with somebody that is some your competition for the person that you like should be someone who like that person or should be someone that you just have a complete competition with that person for no damn reason. Okay, I'm I'm very confused. <laughs> I'm confused you right now. So, okay, let's get into the specific. Jinsu Hai have a co kind of a connection. Uh, Mingyu have zero connection with Minji. Mingyu is so into Kiri. We know that. Come on, it's clear Mingyu's made up his mind. He was practically Kiri's bodyguard earlier. But Guani preferred that Minji go on uh, on paradise with Jinsu instead of Mingyu. But if you don't want to give me any wrong ideas, then I think you should go with Jin Sun. I don't know what is Guan in competition with Mingyu. I'm pretty sure Mingyu doesn't even know that he's in competition with Guan. So he doesn't want Minji to go to paradise with Mingyu. He wants her to go with Jin Sun, even though because he said, Oh, I trust Jin Sun. He told me that how I feel about you, I will trust more that you go. In part that with him, he would let me know how things go. So tell me about his feelings for you. And what you guys were up to while you were there, once you get back. Thank you and Wanik, they're not the type to open up about that. I was like so surprised. 
So we say, oh, if you have to go to Parada, go with jeans. Like what, that's what I say in my note. I'm, I'm very confused. I don't understand that. Uh, now we have Hajan and Jinsik. So Hajan talked to Jinsik. It, it was just like a friendly competition, a friendly conversation. Because remember, Hajan is interested in in Guani and Jinsik is kind of interested in Mindy. And I thought it was a connection there. Last time I even thought there's this strong connection. But I'm like, I didn't see her to go 100% into Guani. In this episode, I'm like, wow. I, I don't think Minji personality has changed, but she's not. I'm starting to talk like Guani. She's not who I thought she she is. So funny that Guani said that her son is not who he thought she was when they went to Bada. So Minji has changed a little bit. I was kind of surprised. We're going to talk about that. So Rachel just expressed, explained the situation, what happened with Guani. She getting some advice from Jensen. She said, Guani told her that she have two personalities, that she had different around her and she had a certain way around the other people. He said that I act in a calm, mature way when I'm with him, but seeing me act differently with others made him say that he didn't know which one was the real me. I'm like, Hedro is the most honest. I love Hedro so much. Like, I don't know what Guani said. Just, just say that you like the two other lady more. You're not interested in Hedro anymore. Stop giving my girl a hard time. Stop that. Even when she was calling you, I like that. That she told you that no, you shouldn't act like that. She put in her place. Best moment that I watched in single Inferno. I love how honest a person. It's not because she likes you, she's just gonna accept your cab. <laughs> I love that. She's like, put him in this place. I hate the fact that she apologized. I hate the fact that now Guadi use her as a, we're gonna talk about that a little bit, as like a reason why the connection didn't work with them. What? Just an excuse, Guadi. Just an excuse. Okay, so Jess is just giving her advice. She said, what do you guys talk about? He said, I can't reveal it, it's a secret. She getting advice from Jason. Guys, I don't think Guani's feelings are what really matters here, which is why I won't tell you. It's your feelings that matter. That's true. It's not like you'll stop liking him just because Guan he likes someone else. So, and they both go to talk to uh, Minji and Minji. Just Minji talk to Jason. I don't know. So then we see the conversation with Guani and Hedron. This is what I was talking about. He really talked that thing like, oh, remember when you came to apologize to me about the argument that we had. This is where we start drifting apart. See, I like when it was all natural. When we were fighting, maybe we would be close. It's so stupid, guys. I'm telling you, that's exactly what happened. I, I might not say word by word what Granny said, but this is what happened. He said, oh, if you didn't apologize to me for the argument that we have, Maybe next year we like pick up our connection. We we like go in the way we were going. I feel like things might have gone differently if we'd let nature take its course and said, "I'm sorry for lashing out at you back then," which made it hard for me to treat you the way I usually did. What? What is he talking about? This may not say. Just say that you like Hudson and Minji more. Stop making my girl apologize for something she didn't even need to apologize for. Oh my god, man, I'm complicated. Okay, I'm getting too emotional. I'm getting too emotional. <laughs> Let's get back to the episode. I, I, I feel bad. I don't like to feel bad because Hedron is so amazing. She's gonna find someone great outside of Singer Fellow. She doesn't need you, buddy. I just know personality. If you can create a personality, it's an A+. Plus. I'm not saying all the people don't have all the personality, but Rachel is up there. She's up there. The girl know herself. I just love it. And it was just that conversation. Like, I said, do he want to hurt them to keep bumpy heads for that the connection we go? It make no sense to me. And like I said, the panelist seems to feel the same thing. One is just coming with some excuse because it's just like someone else. So he should be saying, I'm attracted to someone else. But instead, it's, you shouldn't have gotten mad at me yeah, back then. That's a bit. You should have just acted natural back then. Why did you apologize? To other people, I guess it's too potential and it'll be 50-50 because Hedger is not even there anymore. I'm like, what happened? Remember, go home, home back to Hedger. Oh my God. I love those two. 
but okay let's move for all the words i'm gonna have to talk for all the time okay me you know, and she um, i don't just see the conversation remember when they were talking you, they see they were still talking and then they hold hand and just realize like, that's the first time they even say that's the first time they're holding hand because they've never been paradise together say so, oh let's just walk out huh? they were holding want to take my hand thanks this is our first time holding hands is it? we never got to go to paradise together this is our very own paradise that was so cute. That was so cute. That was so cute. And this is where Mino says she clearly has expressed how she feels about him. She has expressed how she feels about him. I just hope that his decision to go all in with she is not affected by the fact that one person expressed her feeling, one person did I just hope that he likes she as much as she likes him. After the time that she spent with me, you know, she is so cute. She go back to her home, she talk to her, so she said, like, oh my god, what does it have to be so attractive? I went through with it. <gasps> with me new? How was it? Honestly, I mean, no. why does what he have to be so attractive? What? Really? I told you guys, when I was watching Singer, but I'm like, Mino is fine. Mino is fine. I'm saying, why are they good? Don't see that. They don't see that. Honestly, I mean, no. why does what he have to be so attractive what really we find him attractive too he's fine she's so she likes him so much I'm like, i came in here to get something what was it oh my lipstick i just who was he i just like him so much oh my gosh she is she's she really like me though <laughs> she really like me though her son is just so happy for her and her son is like in a full blanket like she was cold <laughs> people are having conversation by the way to go to buy their hair so like she's in her blanket she's now moving <laughs> a finger and i look at her so after we buy that she's just in her blanket not moving quite this i said hey what's her so i haven't seen her something today she's gonna come and talk to us you remember you're supposed to talk to people before they make an announcement, before you choose who to go to paradise with. But she, the guy is just happy for she and I'm like, <laughs> and finally, it's Granny who go to the home to talk to her son. Granny, you see the game changer? Granny is used to get commentary. He's used to get making the first move. Me and Jim make the first move, telling about how she feel about him. Ah, oh, there's no one else. My girl Rachel make the first move. She's been very honest about her feeling. You see all those stuff. <laughs> her son, she doesn't even move a finger. Granny, he doesn't like remember how Granny used to have his way out oh, trigger fighting for me. Her son just stayed there doing her thing, fully in her blanket, no worry in the world. <laughs> Granny have to go talk to her. <laughs> You're gonna suffer. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love that. I love how confident she is. I love, that's what I love about her son. That's what I love about her son. And Granny came to talk to her. He asked a question about Wani. Uh, she, he, he, I think he asked her uh, if you have to go back, will you pick Wani to go to Prada instead of me or something like that? She said, no, I don't regret my decision. Would you still take Wani? Uh -huh, I think I would. Oh, really? Uh -huh. What do you want somebody to say that you regret her decision for picking someone else to go to Bada? Where you been picking different people every day? You went to Bada with me, we had you on. Do you expect her to say, no, I should have picked you? No. Remember, she told me on the first day, we here to date, I'm gonna have to meet other people, get to know the people, and then I will make my final decision. She said, no, I don't regret the person that I picked to go to Bada with. And she talked about the fact that her one is. So consider it. she like talking to it, she's comfortable around him. I saw talk about the fact that she like her date with Wani. He's a great person, he's very considerate, she like talking to him, but at the end of the day, so she still go to work. Guani. This is what the banali say. Guani doesn't express anything to the girl. He always wants the girl to express. And that's true. We haven't seen Guani, um, Guani to say to any girl, oh I like you. Uh, I actually want to see see something's going on here. We haven't seen Guani doing that. He always expect the girl to come to him. 
and her son doesn't give him that she's like keep him on his place like you see Guanic when he saw her hair so he can't be tall he can look at her and stuff like that he's very attracted to her i can tell i can tell like the other girl is he does all the thing i don't know he feel very confident about the girl but when confident Guani, when he saw her hair so he's really be shy i can see that i can see that after he talked to her son like the conversation wasn't like oh it was just a nothing special come out of the conversation he didn't get what he was expecting about the fact that oh she doesn't look like going one and all, what all the guy has been telling him about one he get her son i don't know what they saw that we didn't see i don't know what ming you saw i don't know what han be saw they completely conversed <laughs> one that her son is so into one now after the conversation one is still not convert. He said that after his trip with Minji, it was definitely Minji that he was going to choose. But after seeing Reso, he has missed feelings, so he doesn't know. So his goal is to avoid Reso at all costs, not go to paradise with her. So I'd like to avoid Reso for the time being. So that he can make up his mind. Then who is going to select because like now that it's completed, it's not a good thing. That's what he's planning to do, but it's time for the match to decide who's going to paradise. And the number one person, the first person to choose is Hyson. Who is Hyson going to choose? She chose Kwani to go to paradise with. Good luck avoiding her. Your plan fell. Kwani said he was holding her hope for it. They come full circles. That's, that's what they are talking about when they are leaving. The second person to choose is Hedron. I said, Hedron, please, they harm me. We want to know what harm me does. Is it like a secret? I just, I, at this point, I don't know. I just harm me. I just want harm me to go to paradise. Okay? And I know you have some kind of connection with Hedron, but it never go into anything. But Hedron, please don't touch me, no. She, he's from my girl, she. I know Mingyu is all in me, killing. And what who urges uh, he got his love triangle connection. One, I don't think there's a connection there. Please choose Rambi. Okay, she chose Rambi. She listened to me. She chose Rambi. I said, finally, it's going to pass. Everybody was happy for Rambi. And the third person, Minji. I'm like, Minji have two choices. She has something going on with Jensik. And remember, when she had a conversation with Guani, they were talking. Guani would say, I would be more confident if you go with Jinsik. She chose Jinsik. Hi. Nope. I told you guys, I didn't expect that for Minji to be all in with Guani. I just didn't expect that. So Minji, she avoid Jinsik. She chose Mingyu. That she had zero connection with. Fuck Mingyu. Thank you. This looks a bit disappointed. He does look disappointed. Mm. Well, the note that she gave to Guani was like, there's no one else. It's just you. I didn't, I didn't make up my mind. Even Mingyu was surprised. I said, okay, I didn't expect it for you to choose me. She said, no. I just want to like, talk and just chat. She know that Mingyu is interested in Kirish. Jensik doesn't, didn't even get a chance to continue talking to uh, Minji, I guess. I thought it was going to be something that she didn't like the fact that I, I don't know, she fell for one more. That's all I can say. If Minji, she have no problem to get in, into like that connection between Jinsuk and Mio, but she like one more. So she go to work one. I'm like, that part that they must have had a big as. And back. I was just sad because I just feel like she have a cute connection with Jinsu. This episode made me sad. The Guani and Heijan connection go flat like this. The Minji and He and Jinsu connection go flat like this. And we say, oh my god, it's toward the end. Even when I was talking about the show the other day, I was like, who's going to end up with who? I see no connection so far. This episode already established. The connection and start to feel like oh one day next two episodes will come 
I can already see how things will go. I can already go. It's probably going to be only two couples. We're going to talk about the prediction. It might be three, but so far it looks like two to me. Three, I will be, it will be a big surprise. Okay. okay. I shouldn't talk about that. Let's finish this episode first. Okay. So, Mingyu, she chose Mingyu. And Jin Suk is like a little wow. He was surprised that she didn't even consider him because he could have at least go to paradise with her again. They could get into know each other. Nope, that's not what's happening. And guess what? They have to be in the helicopter. The three people they go to paradise together. So <laughs> this is a weird situation. So remember that when he told Mindy, I will be more comfortable if you pick jeans to, to go to paradise with even though she have some kind of connection with jeans, even though jeans kind of like uh Mindy, he prefer her to choose jeans over Mingyu. I still now understand what is going on problem with Mingyu. So he said something to Mindy, pay jeans to go to paradise with. Even though he has no skill to tell her who to pick, it doesn't even make sense that he tell her to who to pick. She chose Mingyu because she has zero connection with it. It's just to say like, oh, I'm all in. If I'm all in, it's gonna be with you. So I'm just choose in my mind. I'm just choose Mingyu, just to talk, to chat. It didn't like that. She was poking him in the helicopter. Pay attention to me. He was like, he wasn't. Pay attention to her. She keep poking him, doing shoulder like that. She start crying. Oh, why is she crying? I mean, who is that? Is that Minji that came in the middle of the show was so confident? I'm not saying that cry make you is not confident and stuff like that, but she was completely different. I'm like, the girl have fallen for granted. I'm like, wow. I'm like, I didn't expect that for Mindy. I'm like, she was like, at the beginning, such a strong minded person, like, who didn't give like the F about this and that. I feel like uh, her son is, mo is not, is that person now. Like, I didn't see her son personality in this episode. I said, oh my God. I'm more surprised by her. So Minji is the sensitive one that we didn't know she was. I thought she was this girl boss. She's still a girl boss. I, I, uh, don't get confused by what I say. I'm not saying because she's sensitive, she's not like a girl boss. She's not like confident. But I was just surprised how much Guani have an effect on have effect on her. She was crying. Born in her eyes in the helicopter, and Ming you gave her shirt. You say, Okay, you can drive her shirt. Oh, no, Ming that's that's just, yourself up. Mingyu was so surprised when she was poking Guani, and he was laughing a little bit. And then he just take care of her. Mingyu's a cutie. I don't know why Guani don't like Mingyu. I love Mingyu. <laughs> I don't know why they they are not they don't have the same love interest like even Guani have three girls that he's interested in I guess it was just the two girls. Nah, is it because of the kill? Uh, I don't know. It's just my speculation because like Guani never formed a connection with Kure and Mingyu and Kure are some some kind of an item. I don't know about that because you know Kure is also interested in Mino. So is it because of that that? Mingyu, uh, Guani, is it because of that that Guani doesn't like Mingyu? He never got to form that connection with Kyue. I start to understand there must be something there. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. So I love how Ming, uh, Mingyu was there to take care of Minji. I'm like, I was surprised because Ming, Minji completely changed. Maybe when she's in love, she's completely changed. She, she, she put her with her guard down she's very sensitive in this episode crying a lot oh my god what meanwhile Hesso is like I, I don't have time the girl is like so damn confident Guan is like this is Hesso she's like a queen taking her tea Guan is like working on her hair oh Wani you go to to paradise with him do you regret your decision Stick with my tea. Nope. 
Oh, the guy told me that how oh, you were so into money. Uh, how do you feel about him? She said, yeah, since someone I like to talk to, I still feel like my connection with you is a higher connection. It's like you see Guani dancing now. <laughs> She's like so confident. I'm not saying Minji is not confident. I'm just saying I saw the sensitive side of Minji. I was just so surprised in this episode. She really like Guani. And I don't know what's gonna happen there. So in this paradise, the focus is mostly um showing like the a lot of Guani and Hejon Paradise. And a little bit of Mingyu and Minji Paradise. We have a show show Hejon and Hanbi. We will talk about that in the episode 10. They are eating delicious food by the way, very good food. Guani Ask Hesson about one again. Uh, Hesson said that he's a very considerate guy, like she's more of a large. Guani, Guani is still her number one, like I was saying. She said her mom is completely made, so for her, it's Guani. Whether he chose somebody else or not, she's like, she made up her mind. Then my mind was made up. I knew my mind wasn't going to change, regardless of who you went to paradise with. And he said he didn't want her. To pick her, he said. To be honest, I didn't want you to pick me today. He said that Hassan was avoiding him. He said, "What were you avoiding me?" He said, "Me." He said, "At the moment when we came back for paradise, like you were avoiding me, and Minji was there for me and stuff like that. That's how I got to know Minji. She got, I got closer to her." Guan is he doesn't know why he can stop thinking about Hassan. I didn't want to see you. I didn't want to ever since that day, but I couldn't stop thinking about you. I'm like, wow. Hassan <laughs> uh, said, because I'm the cutest. I know, Hassan, you're cute, but she is so cute. I can't even lie. She is the cutest. I mean, why does he have to be so attractive? It's just my opinion, but Hassan, you're so cute. So I just love Sheen so much. <laughs> so her son said that she's just shy, so she was just mad. She couldn't look at me. She was boy, I said, well, I was talking to all the girls. Why you should like, come and pick me? I'm like, why do y'all I know he's waiting for girls to come to him, not for him to go into all the girls. That's why he didn't come look for you, her son. <laughs> so she said she should have like, come and talk to me. He didn't. Uh, Hesson see, I'm like, Hesson have Guani wrap around her finger. The girl know what she's doing. I'm like, oh, the girl told Guani, I like you. I want to be with you. Hesson and uh, Minji say that. Hey, John say that. My girl, Hey, John say that. But Hesson is like, okay, my connection with Guani hasn't been like the way I have a connection with you. In her mind, she's like, it's all in, it will be you, you know. But she doesn't see the way Guani wants to say, oh, I can't, it has to be you. Like, she doesn't say those words. She's like still doing a thing very comfortable. I think Guani doesn't like that. <laughs> okay, they show a little bit of Minty and Mingyu Pada. And she said, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> what happened today? Thank you for being there for me. It must be really hard. Like, after crying in the helicopter, being part of it, he said, it's, it's okay. Guani literally gave me the cold shoulder. Just but I could never treat a woman so coldly. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Unbelievable, right? They literally gave you the cold shoulder. So they're just talking about the incident and stuff like that. Uh, Mingyu said, oh, don't worry. I'm going to talk to Guani tomorrow to let him know what happened, to let him know that you really like him, that like he should consider that and stuff like that. You should pay attention to those feelings. You're right. Just go back tomorrow and you tell him how you feel about him. Then I'll go over to him and go, Hey, Kwangi, by the way, Nichi's really into you. So they are just there to talk to each other about the situation. That's why she picked him. She didn't want to open like a another kind of wound. She didn't want to open something with Chinsek. Like, I'm disappointed a little bit. So Guani and her so far that's continually going to the hot top. And they go into the hot tub. It's like Guani put so many holes on his body. I'm like, it was just funny to see. And they say, oh, this is a sauna. Oh, this is really nice. What the heck? What are they doing? Compared to when we saw Sheen and and Guani, Paradise, when they were in the hot tub, the vibe is different. 
there's nothing to do that talk in the hot tub. <laughs> this other thing to do, but we don't do that yet. Okay, let's be innocent. There's nothing else to do but talk. But you can see the the conversation flow here compared to like the conversation we one occasion in the last. It was so awkward, you know. One it was like a robot. <laughs> she was like the conversation. She gave a compliment. You went thirty seconds to say, "Oh, thank you." But here the conversation flow. They are talking about silly things like the horse. He put the horse on his body. He say, "Oh, you feel like a sauna." They are just having a great time talking in the hot tub. And one one of the conversation I, I could pick up a little bit things that they were talking about. When he talk about the fact that oh, this was our first trip and life trip, it has such a big meaning. And the home, I like the fact that they redecorate the room the same way. But I saw as that you went in, in paradise yeah with somebody else yesterday. Minji, is it the same room? Just the way they'd arrange them on our first visit, but it really feels different. Isn't it the same room we had yesterday? Say yes, it's the same room, but it's like no, no. But it has different feeling. It's different the like the way we were in the first day. So we have great meaning. It took that very meaningful. It's like oh, maybe we are destined to be together. I saw present the situation. I love trying to. What happened if you we get back to Inferno and Minji tell you, oh, I really like you. I want to be with you. And she said, now we are stuck in a love triangle. What's going to happen? And Gwani said, what happened if at the end I don't choose you and this thing end up? And then I call you and say, oh, do you want to grab Gina and stuff like that? She said, I will block you. Pretty much, her son said, even though she talked to Wani and stuff like that, her mind has been made. So it was like always wanted because the time that she spent with other people she realized that Gwani is the person that she wants to be with her. I'm not curious about anyone and I don't want to talk to anyone else. I'm just going to follow my heart regardless of what the other person does. Also, uh, Minji is all Gwani. That's what I'm thinking right now. I had no second choice. Heijo is all Gwani but Heijo can feel that Thing with Guani is not there anymore. He said they drift apart. I don't think Guani's feelings are what really matter. It's your feelings that matter. That's true. It's not like you'll stop liking him just because Guani likes someone else. That's but true. I'm really sad. Though so far I see three vote going to what Guani. The point is that who is Guani gonna choose? He has a time with Minji. He has a time with Hesso. It's a love triangle there, <laughs> like Heson has prayed it there. Everyone's going, oh, it's a love triangle. Guan He, Heson, and Minji are all in a love triangle. And then you have to pick. What they show the trailer, what's going to happen in episode 10 is pretty much a love triangle. You see Heson getting a little bit ups upset about the fact that, oh, um, I told you what I feel, something like that. I couldn't pick up the conversation but there was like something going on and um, we see Guani also talking to Minji I don't know what's gonna happen I don't know who is gonna choose guys it can go either way it can go either way at this point I know how Guani feel when it's about her son he can't help with her but I also know the fact that Guani likes having someone like Minji that really liking him I think he liked me as well, but Hesson is a little bit up there, so it all depends on Bunny. At the end, who is going to be? Because I see those two girls going to work him. He's not going to pick my girl, hey John. I'm a little bit sad. But when it comes to Singer Inferno Season 3, I just want to say, hey John has such a big impact. Bunny and hey John interaction was the best thing that came out of this show so entertaining they kept me watching the show she i wasn't i didn't know at the beginning i came to love she i just love she so much and in the beginning i thought she was just the pretty girl pretty princess but i just love she personality she's like calm but she's great Mino, I told you how much I love Mino. Even though people didn't see him at the beginning I'm, i love how confident he is now but Mino, please choose right. <laughs> Don't disappoint me. <laughs> I love and a lot of them are just happy. So talking about this show was so amazing.
I don't have two more episodes to talk about. I talk like the show ended already. Technically, it's ended by the time you watch this. So, the trailer seems interesting. So, Shane also, I see talking about that between Shane and Mino and Curie. I like this a love time they're going up there as well. I said, No, I wish Shane and Mino so bad. So, guys, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I will be here to talk about that. Oh, before I go, there was a sleep arrangement, remember, like, between. So, her son and Guani were talking about the sleep arrangement. Remember when Guani is always be, oh, I'm gonna sleep on the couch, I'm very comfortable sleeping on the couch. Like the last time we heard you, we saw the situation. Even though her job told Guani, I am comfortable sleep on this bed. There are two beds and everything. He still said, no, 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 no. He ended up sleeping on the couch, right? Same situation with her son. And then he told her son, no. To be honest, I'm not uncomfortable. To tell you the truth, I'm not at all uncomfortable. Not only he doesn't want to sleep on his bed, he said, can we sleep together? Want to sleep together? That's where the episode ended. So you want to sleep, not only in the same home, I assume also in the same bed we had some. Guani, I caught you. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna see what's gonna happen in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Singing Inferno. I can't wait to talk about the last two episodes. Hopefully, this stick will be great. No matter how British couple we end up with, who at the end, it was a great season. I enjoy recapping the show, I enjoy talking about the show. Ah, it's sad that we, we have to wait one year for each season of Singing Inferno. Netflix, do better, okay? Stop. Giving you annual season episode, bring a season every six months. I know you have a lot of daily show, but still, do better. Bye. Have a wonderful evening. Let's just stay here today and have fun. Yes, let's have lots of fun and make some good memories. Totally. Let's have ten days worth of fun. <laughs> okay.